Hello everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back. Since I'm enjoying so much Fallout 4, I decided to make a survival guide for beginners. And if this guide is successful, I will make a more advanced one. First of all, if you're afraid that you won't have the best weapon because you don't have the right perks to craft that weapon, don't be afraid because if you find a legendary enemy, which you will find more often on harder difficulties, those enemies will drop special weapons or special armors that are really, really good. In order to spot them, you can just watch right next to the name on that enemy there is a star. And they will also be fully geared. If you're planning on crafting weapons and armors, one of the most valuable things you will need to find is duct tape. Duct tape is needed for every crafting that you want to make in Fallout 4, so every time you find one, take it. Cooking in Fallout 4 is very useful, you regenerate a lot of health, sometimes even more than a steam pack. And not only that, depending on what you hit, you get a special bonus. And since you kill so many monsters in the wasteland, exploring, you will have a lot of meat at your disposal for cooking, and you won't have to spend a lot of caps on steam packs or doctors or crafting of the steam packs or just not wasting time going back to your base every time to sleep and regenerate health. Leveling up is not the only way to improve. Look out for magazine that will give you a small bonus depending on which magazine you find. And also look out for bubbleheads. They're very useful because they increase by one forever one of your statistics. So look around guys. In Fallout 4, in order to be sneaky, it's important not to make a lot of noise, but what's even more important is to stay in the darkness. You can see right now, I'm in the dark now, and I can shoot a guy, a turret, and there are three more enemies, and still they didn't spawn me, they're searching for me, but they don't know my position. So guys, always avoid the light, it's a huge factor in Fallout. When you're facing enemies, always try to make the best out of your situation. And sometimes the best isn't having the best weapon, but being smart. You can see right now this Deathclaw is trying to engage me in melee attacks, but it can't because I'm using the environment to my advantage. So every time it comes close, I move to the other side and you have to move in circles. This way I don't get any damage and it's an easy kill. So guys, be smart and you will be rewarded. This is just a reminder since even I sometimes forget about it. When you are in a dark environment, you can use your peep boy to light up the situation. Just press tab for one or two seconds and you will see that the whole room will now shine. Many players love to explore but sometimes we get in trouble because we get in a situation where the enemies are stronger than us. How do we avoid the situation? About scouting first and being a little bit sneaky before engaging the situation. Right now I spotted a Yao Guai which is higher level than me, so I have no chance right now to kill him. You can also see the defense and the level of the Yao Guai because I unlock a perk on the perception skill tree that allowed me to see everything about the enemy. If you don't have that, so use your bots and if you see a skull run next to the enemy, that means that the enemy is very strong. Hoarding all the junk that you find around, it's a great way to build new settlements, it's a great way to help you craft more weapons, steam packs and all that stuff. But you don't want to carry everything with you all the time, so build something where you can store everything that you don't need at the time. What I do, I make one container just for weapons, the heavy ones like the Gatling gun, like the fat man, rocket launchers, and one for all the junk that I might need when building settlements. And this will help you the next time you go out to loot more stuff, because now that your inventory is empty, you can collect even more. So that's everything for today guys, thank you very much for watching. If this guide will be successful and you guys like it, I can make more videos about Fallout, maybe talking about crafting, weapons or even more guides. So thank you again for watching and see you on the next video.